Today I want to talk about chewing your dope and a couple of steps that you can take to give you the best results downrange. So as we've talked about before, I run this Kestrel. This is the 5700 Elite uh, with applied ballistics. And it's an amazing tool, uh, although it works for me. Uh, many of you don't use it and I can understand why they're not the cheapest thing out there. And you can get apps on your phone for free and for very minimal expense that will do very much of the same thing. What I have noticed with some of those apps and some of the questions I get are how do you true up that data? And with some of the apps, especially the free versions, it doesn't give you a uh, an easy method to true the ballistic coefficient. The Most of them will give you a way to true the muzzle velocity. And that's what I want to kind of talk about. So muzzle velocity is an important factor in predicting where my round is going to land downrange. And so that's where I start. And for me, that's an important factor. So here we have a magneto speed. Um, this is the V3, and then it happens to be on this gray ops mount, which just makes it really easy. I can mount it here to my spigot on my MPA chassis. And that way I can collect speed data without changing my point of impact because it's mounted here to my chassis and not strapped to my barrel in any form or fashion. Uh, you can also do the same thing with the lab radar. They're another great solution to this. But I run the magneto speed. So I strap that on there and I shoot several rounds across it and collect the muzzle velocity for any given round. And that's where I start. If I'm starting with a good, solid, known muzzle velocity, that gives me confidence that I can true the BC from there and uh, make it line up with what I'm seeing downrange. So once I've done that and I have a known muzzle velocity and I've entered that into my solver, again, whether it's in the Kestrel or whether it's on your app on your phone, then I can true up the solution. And depending on your app, uh, if it will allow you to do a truing function on the BC, that's great. But it doesn't need to have a truing function in order for you to do the same thing. So we're going to use this patch as an example. So there's some crosshairs. If you're aiming in the middle and you hit up high, your BC is higher than you have calculated. If you aim in the middle and you hit low, your BC is lower than you have calculated. So get your good muzzle velocity and then go out to a distance. Um, preferably, if you're shooting center fire, preferably before you go transonic. Um, so depending on your cartridge, you could be out in that eight, 900 yard range. Uh, you could be even further, uh, depending again on what you're shooting. If you're shooting or you're trying to true this up for your rim fire, at your subsonic or you should be shooting subsonic in competitions my opinion um, so it's not as big a factor but i would go out in the 200 yard range two to 300 yard range uh, to true up your muzzle or to true up your bc at that point and so put it in your solver and see what it spits out and take shots and again if your impacts what you're seeing down range if they're higher then, uh, then what your solution is calling for, then your BC is, is a higher BC than what's in your solver to begin with. So then you just go in, make an adjustment on your BC inside your solver until it lines up with what you see downrange. And we're not talking huge differences. So for example, rimfire, uh, most of you rimfire guys will know your BC on these projectiles is probably running in the 0.13 to 0.14 range, somewhere in that area. If you've got to go in there and change it to 0.16 or 0.12 to get it to line up, you're probably on the right track. 
it's not a huge difference so that's what i would do start with a good uh known muzzle velocity and then go in and just play with your bc until you're seeing the same results as what your solution is calling for downrange i hope that helps if it doesn't i'm sorry uh, if you have any more questions feel free to reach out and i'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching guys i hope i see you out on the range